Hello and welcome to Global Fashion Workshop. Let me remind you that we post a new video three times a week. Today we have a review of a finished garment, but it's not a simple reveal of a finished garment. I'll tell you all the details about designing a garment for a nice and curvaceous figure. As you can see here, we put a bra and padded it on the mannequin. The hips are quite opulent, but there's still a nicely defined waist and the client wants to accentuate everything. What do we need to pay attention to when cutting and how to make a wrap dress for this figure? Our task wasn't that easy, but we did it and I will not talk about the processes that took place to get us here. First, the bust is voluminous and the client wants a wrap. What do we do? So, at the drafting stage, when drafting on paper, we open the dart even more. So we widened the dart and in this spot we made a cut and closed it a little bit by a centimeter. So we artificially decreased the length in this spot right here. And thanks to this, that we opened up the dart even more and decreased here a bit at the drafting stage, because you can't do this on fabric, thanks to this we got this very nice and close fit here. Next, a small waist. Of course, we cannot do the shaping in one spot only. Here we have quite a good size dart, the dress isn't lined, everything is bias bound, I'll be showing you on the table shortly from the wrong side and you see everything. And we also have a second dart. Note what a nice and close fit we have here, because there is a shoulder dart present. Here it is, the shoulder dart. Plus, the lady had a wish that the dress wouldn't be too open. So how do we make it not too open? Well, here it's obvious that everything is covered, but here, instead of making the traditional neckline from the corner to down here, we decided to trace the neckline then drafted this opening here and drew the wrap from this point here. But because here we shortened the distance a bit, note how well everything is fitting here. And it fits the client just as great. A double dart, a wrap, the bottom part is drafted at an angle, and of course I'll show you on the table how all these facings are done, because I won't be showing the wrong side at this point. So look, here's the wrap, it's sewn into the side seam and it has the slanted bottom part. It could have been even asymmetrical, but we didn't have such a task. Since our wrap is closed, sewn into the side, and it doesn't open, we have an invisible zipper in the center back. It's quite long, because you know that when the waist is small and the hips are large, the zipper must be about 60 centimeters. Because if it's short, in this narrow spot, it will be difficult for the hips to pass, or the bust as well. Well, what else would I like to say? There's a lot of bias binding, a lot of work was done on the inside. Now look, the center of the sleeve is sheer. Here we have this green lace, you can see it, here it is. Here on the bottom there is a mesh to hold everything in place so that the lace doesn't fall apart in this spot. But I'll show you all these technical details on the table. This dress is great, really great, quite unusual, and it took a lot of labor, so I'm really enjoying showing it to you. I think you'll keep this idea in mind that you will learn to close the dart here a little bit so that this area here has a close fit and doesn't gape. And I also wanted to bring your attention to this idea. Trace the neckline here and then the wrap goes under the bust here. See how this dress has a good coverage? Just here there's a bit of open skin and it still has a wrap. Of course it's a faux wrap, but nevertheless it's still a wrap dress. The dress fits just as great on the client, she's really pleased. And now I'll take the dress off and we'll show you on the table. We'll turn it inside out, look in detail and as usual we'll discuss everything. Well, look here, since our wrap on the skirt here is slanted and the bottom skirt is also slanted, when sitting somewhere on a couch, a bit of a knee could peek out beautifully. And now let's turn it wrong side out and see how it all looks on the inside. The girls told me that there is 12 meters of binding. Everything is finished with facings. As always, we did a very fine finishing with mesh.
See how this fabric is? Here it's light gray and here it's dark gray. It's a double-sided fabric. It's dark gray like this on the wrong side. It's atlas fabric. Everything is finished with mesh, absolutely everything bound with mesh. Very beautiful. This light material peeking out here is the light side of this atlas here. Look at how neatly the sleeve is set in. Here, I'm looking at the wrong side and I'm thinking, this could even be worn wrong side out. I'd wear it. Honestly, I'd wear it because this is just so great. Perfect techniques, beautiful finishing. I don't know, I just really love our girls. And they do their job with pleasure and love. Look how great. Just excellent. Even the sleeve, look at it. So much pleasure just looking at it. Let's turn it. Here there are two facings on each side. One facing goes from the shoulder to the end of the wrap. See here, everything is secured as well. And the bottom is also finished with a facing the same way. And the same finishing on the outer skirt. The bottom finished with a facing. And the top is finished with a facing. And the back has a small facing too. I think some of you will certainly want a dress like this. Let us know. But be ready to put in some work. I think if you're going to do it for yourself, it's not necessary to do so much binding. You could neatly finish it on the overlocker. That would also be pretty. Well, except here, of course, where you have the lace and it could all show. But here on the inside, if I were making it for myself, I'd personally finish it on the overlocker. First, we cut out a complete sleeve from the main fabric, tried it on, and traced the desired lace section right on the arm. Then we attached the lace, and only after did we cut out the atlas fabric from this section. Look how beautiful. This dress may seem to be quite closed. It's pretty covered here, too, but not that much. There's still a bit of skin showing. It looks very elegant. And the bottom is quite covered as well, but nonetheless, due to the slanted skirt edges, when sitting, you get a little peak of a knee. Because everything is drafted correctly in this spot on the bust, the wrap will never be gaping open here. I showed you this dress and really enjoyed it myself. I love dresses, and I love garments where you can see a lot of work invested in them, where you can tell that the garment looks expensive and well-made. I'm not a fan of dresses in 30 minutes where something is quickly stitched together, attached, some kind of binding. Well, it doesn't look like much, it doesn't have real value. Sometimes we need dresses like that in the summer for the beach or in the summer for the home, but dresses like that you could easily buy somewhere on a sale. But if you'll be investing your labor, your attention, your energy, of course you want to make something worthy of yourself, worthy of your hands. I think we understand that when we're making things with our hands, we need to have patience, assiduity and patience, because without patience, nothing will work out. You have to do it neatly, beautifully, seam after seam, without rushing, without stress, in a good mood. We can all make a dress like this one and be the most fabulous. I have a big favor to ask you, please write your comments. If some of you decide to make a dress like this one, we'd love to know. Let us know what emotions you have when you wear a dress like this one. It's not so simple, it's not such simple emotions. This is a stunning dress, this is beautiful work, 
It makes us, makes our image, our mood, etc. You know, sewing is not just some kind of activity that you can live without. You can live without many things, but we can't. We need some beauty in our lives. This is what differentiates us, our Global Fashion Workshop subscribers and our team. We all love beautiful things. On this note, I'm saying goodbye, click like, share our videos on social media, subscribe to our channel, all the best for myself, Irina Paukšti and our entire team.